welcome to the channel. So today we'll be covering a hacks integration for simulating your presence at home. Currently, I have fixed automations for various scenes that turn on or off at predetermined times. The issue with this is that they are fixed and predictable. This hacks integration improves on this by taking your history and applies a delta to provide a varying times for turning on lights, switches, opening or closing covers, which are blinds and curtains to the rest of the world and makes it look like you are home. Now the default configuration within Home Assistant keeps your history of what actions are performed for seven days, but we'll be increasing this to 14 days to provide a more realistic presence simulation. We'll then include this presence simulation into Alarmo, a Home Assistant alarm system that I covered previously so that it becomes seamless and fully integrated into a home security system, arguably better than a professionally installed alarm system. So let's get our hands dirty. So the history integration within Home Assistant works symbiotically with the recorder integration to record the history of every entity and make it available to you. Links in the description as into both of these integrations. The recorder by default records all events for 10 days and purges the database of old entries at 4.12 every night. I wonder where they came up with that time from. It also repacks the database every second Sunday to optimize disk space, along with committing to the database every five seconds to minimize disk IO, which is especially useful to those of you that are using micro SD cards on a Raspberry Pi instance of Home Assistant so that it prolongs its life and prevents failure. Personally, I use a HP mini computer with an NVMe disk. Links in the description below, so I don't have this issue. So at the time of recording, I'm running on Home Assistant version 2023.9.2. So firstly, if like me, you wish to increase the recorder default number of days that it stores your history, we'll need to make a change to the configuration file. To do this, we'll need an editor. My personal preference is Studio Code Server. If you don't have this installed, then follow the links in the pop-up above and come back when you've installed it. Now let's jump into our configuration.yaml file. Now assuming you are still running the default configuration, we simply need to insert two lines of code. Let's jump into our configuration.yaml file using Studio Code Server. We'll simply need to insert these two lines of code. This will force Recorder to record 14 days worth of history. There are many variables that you can change here. If you go across into the recorder integration, it lists off all of them. I suggest though that you leave all of these alone. Next, we'll be using the Home Assistant Community Store or Hacks as it's known. If you don't have this installed and want the latest installation guide, then go to the video in the pop-up above. Once you've completed the installation, return back to this video. So now you have Hacks installed. On the left-hand side navigation, select Hacks. Then go into Integrations. We're going to select the blue button in the bottom right hand corner for plus explore and download repositories. We're going to search for present simulation. Now we're going to download. At the time of recording, we're on version 3.1. Press download. At this time, I'd like to shout out to Slashback100 for this amazing integration. Thank you. If you like this, Remember to star it. Now we need to restart. Go down to configuration tools. Check your configuration. Make sure its configuration will not prevent Home Assistant from restarting. Now press restart and restart and restart. Now Home Assistant has come back. So we're going to create a lighting group for the present simulation. Move down into settings, go into devices and services, go into helpers, create a helper, Create a group. We're going to create a lighting group. We're going to give it a name. Present Simulation Lighting Group. We're now going to add some entities to it. Notice here that I'm actually adding groups into the group. Press Submit. The group has been created. Press Finish. If we now filter for the Present Simulation Group, press the cog on the Entity ID. Copy this into your clipboard. Next, we need to add the present simulation integration that's the companion app for the hacks 
go into settings, go into integration, add an integration, search for your present simulation. Select it. In the entity group, paste in the lighting group that you created, that you copied into your clipboard. Notice at this point, you can actually put a comma and put any entity or group that you wish to at this point in time. I'm going to be basing this purely on the lighting group that I created. The delta is the number of days that the simulation is based on from our history. The default number of days that the present simulation is based on is seven days. I'll increase this to 14 days to match the recorder so that it has the full fortnight of data to work on. The only caveat here is that the number should be equal to or less than the number of days that the recording history stores. The refresh interval is the number of seconds between making changes to the entities you've entered. As this is a simulation over potentially a long period of time, I'd suggest leaving this at 30 seconds. Increasing this figure places additional pressure on the CPU for Home Assistant, so I'd leave it at 30 seconds. The restore to previous state is personal preference. In my case, I wish it to return to the previous state, so I'm going to tick this. The final variable is the delta to the average light activity based on your history. I'd suggest setting this to 60 seconds. Now you've finished entering in all the variables. Press Submit. Press Finish. Now I suggest that you restart Home Assistant again. So now the present simulation is fully installed and configured. So how do we activate this? As part of the integration, there are three additional service calls that we can make. If you go down into Developer Tools, Services, search for Presence. And now you can see Present Simulation Start, Stop and Toggle. We can utilize these in automations or in a button. More importantly, we can actually use these in our Alarmo Alarm. So how do we use these? The simplest way would be to install these into an existing or new dashboard with a button, or maybe create a script that you can activate with a physical button you can press. However, as you would like the present simulation to occur when you arm your alarm, I've included these into my Alarmo Alarm. If you'd like to install the Alarmo Alarm with sirens, flashing lights, notifications, etc., then watch the video in the pop-up above. By using the Alarmo Alarm, we can alarm the house based on everybody leaving the house and also simulate presence in the house, the ideal solution in my opinion. Assuming you have the Alarmo Alarm set up now, let's add an action to turn on the present simulation on arming and disarming the alarm. If we head over into Alarmo, go into Actions, we'll create a new action and the action is going to be based on Alarm is armed. We'll leave the mode alone. We're going to type in a task for present simulation and we're going to turn this on and then we give it a name present simulation on and we'll save. We create a new action. Event will be based on disarmed. We'll leave the mode alone because we want it to apply to all modes and the entity ID we're going to pick up on is present simulation and we're going to turn this off. Give it a name present simulation is off and we'll save and we'll turn both of these on. Now when the alarm is armed it will activate the present simulation and when the alarm is disarmed we'll turn off the present simulation but we're going to utilize the full functionality of Alarmo to turn on or off the alarm and with the lights and the sirens etc that are associated. Now for those of you that haven't got Alarmo installed and are not going to do that, let's quickly just put this onto a brand new dashboard. Settings, dashboard, create a new dashboard. Give it a name, present simulation, create. If we go into our dashboard, three dots in the top right hand corner, edit the dashboard. Take control of your dashboard by turning on start with an empty dashboard and press the take control button. Now let's add a card. Press that button. We're going to be picking up on this switch. Let's give it a better icon. Let's use the icon for a robber and press save. Now let's put an ad, pick a lighting card. Let's pick up on our present simulation group and press save and press done. Now we can turn on our present simulation, but since it's the middle of the day here, 
and I don't normally have any lights on in the daytime. Therefore, it won't pick up on any history and will not turn these light sets on. However, now I've got the present simulation on, and if any of the lights that are inside of the present simulation lighting group had turned on historically over the last 14 days, then they would light up here. So there you have it. Forget about coding your lights to simulate you at home. Now you can do it based on your history and even add a random variation to your routines and then build this functionality into your Home Assistant alarm. Alternatively, to build a script that you can toggle on or off with a physical button or based on geofence location. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you've not already done so, consider subscribing to the channel and dinging that bell to be notified when new content is uploaded. Until the next one.